Redic sort. Redic sort is a type of lexicographic sort. So what is a lexicographic sort? Let me explain with an example. Consider a collection of tuples. Let's say year and marks. So this are my collection of tuples of years and marks. Now let's say I want it sorted in ascending order of year and within each year I want it sorted in ascending order of marks. So what do we want to do? Sort in ascending order of years within each year sort in ascending order of marks so when we want our output we want our output to look something like this we want first all the 2015 and then we want the 2016 now within 2015 we want the marks in ascending order so this is what our output should look like now when we are sorting tuples with respect to the first dimension and then the second dimension and so on we call such a sort a lexicographic sort so how are we going to achieve this how from this order how are we going to achieve this order so we start with the most narrow dimension with which we sort. In this example, the year is going to be the broader dimension and the marks are going to be the narrower dimension. So the broad dimension is the year and the narrow dimension is going to be the marks. So we start with sorting the narrower dimension. So start by sorting with respect to marks. So sorting this with respect to marks, I will get a sequence which looks like this. 2016, 8, 2015, 8, 2015, 9, 2016, 10. It is important to note that the sorting which we are applying here has to be a stable sort which means that even though two tuples are going to have the same key in such a case the order in which they were present in the first or the unsorted array is going to be preserved in the sorted array so 2016,8 is coming before 2015,8 so 2016,8 has to come before 2015,8 in the sorted array even though the key with which we are comparing is going to be equal. So this order when the key is the same the order is going to be preserved. So first we sort with respect to the narrower dimension. Then we sort with respect to the broader dimension. So we sort with respect to year. When we sort this array, the new array which we have formed after sorting with respect to marks, if we sort that array with respect to year, we will get a sequence like this. 2015, 8, 2015, 9, 2016, 8, 2016, 10. This is exactly the same sequence which we expected in our output. So even in this case we are using a stable sort because 2015 the 
k was the same for 2015,8 and 2015,9 so the order in which it was present in the unsorted array is going to be preserved when we take it to the sorted array so this is how a lexicographic sort is going to work radix sort is a type of lexicographic sort in which the stable sort used that the sorting algorithm used here is going to be bucket sort that is the only specification so when we are sorting with respect to a particular dimension in radix sort the sort which we will use is going to be bucket sort so let's look at the algorithm for radix sort so i'm going to have an algorithm called radix sort i'm going to input some sequence s and i'm going to input a range n so s is going to be our sequence n is going to be our range so what is the assumption we are making here we say that all the dimensions or all the keys are going to be in the range n so now we assume that the first key present in all the keys will be present in range n we assume that the broadest dimension with which we must sort is going to be the first dimension and the narrowest dimension with which we must sort is going to be the last dimension let's assume that there are d dimensions in the tuple which we are trying to sort so let's create a loop for that so we start with our narrowest dimension which is going to be our last dimension which is say is going to equal to d and we are going to go all the way till the first dimension so we are going to go from the last dimension to the first dimension then what are we going to do for each of these dimensions we want to perform bucket sort so we will perform bucket sort on the same sequence on the same range and we will send i which is going to be specifying which dimension we want to sort with respect to so each time we call bucket sort it will return our sorted sequence which we will store back in s so we are going to do this for all dimensions from the largest dimension d to the first dimension 1 from the narrowest dimension to the broadest dimension after this we would have finished sorting and we can return the sequence this is how radix sort works so how do we analyze the running time for radix sort so it's going to call bucket sort we know that bucket sort is order of capital n plus small n capital n being the range small n being the number of tuples it wants to sort now we are going to call this bucket sort how many times we are going to call this bucket sort d times or as many dimensions we have as you can see in this case we had two dimensions and we call bucket sort twice now we are going to have d dimensions we will call bucket sort d times so what will be the complexity of radix sort radix sort will be order of this d into n plus n because we are going to perform this algorithm d times this is how radix sort works this is how you write the pseudo code algorithm for it and this is how you determine the big o notation of radix sort